Hey, what's going on, everybody? Y'all know who it is. It's JJ. You know we're back with another video. I got the Chevy Malibu. I picked up off of back lots for 700. But one problem is, as y'all can tell by the thumbnail, this wrap. So I took it to Mako. You know, I was gonna make a video, you know, Mako painting and everything, but I took it to Mako and Mako was like, nah, my guy, not that's not gonna happen. We're not gonna do that. That'll be 1500. I'm like, what, 1500? But y'all can tell by the thumbnail why, you know. So. So this is where y'all come in. Let me pull this vehicle up for y'all so y'all can see it better. Let me pull it up. Let me pull it up. Let me pull it up so y'all can see it better. It's a 2000, what year is this model? Well, they all about the same, 9, 10, 11. They all about the same, ain't nothing special. But you see, we got it for a discounted price because this, but the paint underneath it ain't bad. But if any of y'all can help me on how to get this wrap off, I would. I guess they went purple and gold. I guess RIP to Kobe. You know, I don't know why. I don't know if it's purple or gold for the high school colors or if it's for Kobe, purple and gold. I don't know if Vikings or I don't know. But I know. It's like, why y'all wrap it if the fender was messed up? Y'all could have released, replaced the fender. But, and then I guess since they were wrapping it, since they were using that torch, you know, they end up burning the headlights. So this really just gonna cost me more money. I gotta get a headlight. Gonna get some hubcaps, you already know that. Got the Camaro sitting back there, looking good, but like it's pretty clean i mean the seats need to be cleaned a little bit that ain't nothing interior is not bad like the interior is not bad it's just just this ugly wrap they put on it so got the good old four banger in there so got a it's got about like 160,000 miles the tires are good um they ain't no good as you can see i thought it was good they looked good from a distance but it's all like starting to split and stuff you know you see that so that one's no good so it's been sitting somewhere for a while and then this right here it's like the paint job underneath it ain't bad it's just trying to take this wrap off so like they wrapped it let's get my screen let's get my screen get my thumbnail so like they wrapped it and then this part i don't know like this ain't even like a full wrap so i don't know how i'm gonna get that off then they wrapped the back bumper as well then they did the trunk you know like, I don't mind this on the tail lights, but I wrapped that, so it's gonna be a long process. I mean, bumpers cracked up a little bit. I wonder will it just be. I don't know. But it's a car that I bought for 700. I was thinking about like, okay, I bought it for 700. I thought I could just take it to Mako. You know, I didn't think they was, but they talking about 1500 because they got it's gonna take a long process pulling that wrap off. I was thinking like 700, take it to Mako, spend 400, get it sprayed, you know, so then I'll be like 1100 in it, then I'll sell it for 4000 because, you know, that's what they, that's what I've been selling these Malibus is what I've been getting at them for, 4000 for, you know, 4000 to 4500 you know, in there, you know, up, up was the four, I, I'm going to say, I'm going to say 38 to 45 so I was, I was like, okay, I can get a two, twenty five to $3,000 profit. I thought I'd take it to Mako, but now, but the paint, honestly. So I need two headlights, so I gotta go get two headlights, or or should I keep the headlights? Do they look cool? Do that little smoke on them look cool? Or should I replace them? And then I gotta take this wrap off. So this is gonna be a long process. So. I would really appreciate it if y'all can give me some advice on how to get a wrap off. Awesome. 
So let me know in the comment section below how, how to get a wrap off if y'all know how, if it's an easier way to get this wrap off and what can I use to get that stuff off the top. Also, let me know if what I paid 700 for it. It's a 2,960,000-mile Malibu, which I know is a good price because it runs and drives fine. The tires are in good condition. Heat and AC, everything works. It's just this ugly wrap on here that they put on here. So let me know if 700 was a good deal. And then also let me know in the comment section below what you'll sell it for, how, you know, what you'll sell it for, and what would you do to it, you know. Would you take off, because see, like like the bumper like the front bumper the wrap on the front bumper ain't really that bad it's really just this like if they would have wrapped it just a little bit better i might have would have kept the purple and white look it would have kept with a purple and white look but see they, they did this pretty good like see so i might just leave this little gold little trim on there i'm definitely gonna leave that on there because I, I ain't peeling that off Let's see, they put the clear coat off the back. You got this trunk. Well, that's the only thing they did good. Only, only thing they did good was the gold trim. But also, let me know in the comment section below because I need y'all help because I never done a wrap. Actually, I might call Lucky and see. That's that's probably why I call because he did have his Corvette wrap, but I don't know if he ever took it off or or took a wrap off. Or I'll just have my answer person that did the rap. And we can go from there. But yeah, let me know in the comment section. You know, if you know how to take off a rap. Um, also, what you'll sell it for. I always, I'm always curious about what, what people will sell them for. You know, I know people always tell me like, oh, you're selling them too cheap. Which I understand that. You know, I'm not necessarily selling them too cheap. It's just, I just look at the market. So that's my thing. I look at the market. I see what everybody else is selling them for. So I want mine. I want mine to be the best running, the best looking, for the best price. So now you can't complain. You know, so then when people try to complain, you know, I can just show, I, I just take a couple little screenshots of other ones in the market and let them know like mine's the best looking, mine's the best price. Mine's probably the best running, so that's why you're looking at it. But let me know in the comment section below. I need y'all help. Y'all help me, I help y'all. You know, it's a win-win situation. You know, I win, y'all win, we all win together. You know, so then y'all know when y'all see a Malibu rolling through the auction, and y'all see it and it goes for a good price, y'all buy it and then y'all flip it. Appreciate everybody for tuning in. Happy Monday. Appreciate everybody subscribe. We're on the road to 4K subscribers. So if you haven't already, you know, make sure you subscribe so we can hit that 4,000 mark. But then once we hit 4,000, then we hit 5,000, then we hit 10,000, then we hit 20,000, 50,000, 100,000, 1 million. And then, you know, we don't know where we go from there. But I appreciate everybody stopping by. If you haven't already, like this video, drop your comment to help me out. I'm out. Peace.